Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Thank you for subscribing to my channel and therefore a notification is sent to you. That's why you're watching this video. Now this video will show you how do you solve this issue when your vacuum cleaner stop charging after two minutes. What should you do? So our, my recommendation to you is that I'm going to change the battery. There are actually five batteries need to be changed. I do not need to get a new vacuum cleaner. Now, uh, to start off with, I need to tell you that I'm not currently affiliated with this brand. This is actually my personal sharing. So this is not advertisement. Now, the reason why I choose to change battery instead of getting a new model that costs one third of its price of this brand is that um, I want to reduce e-waste. These days, use and throw concept that people normally have, I think it's not good for the environment. Battery can be replaced, right? So I choose to change the battery and that's why I made a video. Roughly two minutes later, stop charging already. The power is turned on, but it's not charging. So what can you do? First, remove the five mounting screw. You can find a lot of videos showing you how to do it, but my model is different than from yours and from the last one. So um, my video can be used as reference. Big brand like Electrolux or I think you know, but Electrolux. Normally they will get a lot of uh, repair guides available online. Right, you can remove the, uh, the, the chamber and then uh, try to pull out the cable, right? I mean the cover. Now, be very careful, this brand, my model does not have a ribbon or wire connected to the button, so I can just easily pull it out. Probably if you have something similar but not the same model, probably there's a wire connected to the button. So you got to make sure you pull it out without looking, okay? Make sure there's no wire connected to the button. Next thing I need to do is just remove the two button, uh, the two screw, mounting screw, using a, a hand screwdriver, not the device. Now, another good benefit is that the you know, video allowed me to look at how this wire is being laid and being hidden in the chamber, so that I know how to connect back later. Now, this is actually a charging uh, cable, and then uh, the front will be the uh, DC motor and also the power pack, okay? the battery pack that comes with a housing, look like V-shape, right? Underneath it, there are actually two prongs used to hold this, uh, yeah, this one, uh, used to hold this battery into place. So carefully removing it, okay? Uh, make a video, take a picture, so that I know which battery goes to where, and then followed by the handle. Now, handle, there's actually a what black color cable is actually a thermocouple used to measure the temperature of the uh, battery. When the battery gets too hot, it actually cut off the current so they won't overcharge the battery. Now this is a twin pack battery, 7.4 volt total. They actually uh spark well properly for me already. Right, there you go. The spark, six sparks right on each terminal. Positive terminal, negative terminal, they are all flat. Okay, the user, the edge seller, actually label it for me, positive negative. Now the positive side, we have a glove, right? Glove line. So I've previously uh, soldered it, and then I use a heat sink sleeve to actually uh, cover it. Apply some heat, it actually will string, right? So that's the beauty about heat sink sleeve, it actually string. Positive side, done. Now how did I do it? I will show you, but not the whole process. It took me two hours, otherwise this video will be too long show you one or two, then the rest you should be able to do so to all by yourself. It's some skill we learn at school, right? So I'll use a long nose plier to remove the old terminal from the battery. I dis first disconnect the positive side I and mean, I'm going to do it systematically so that I would mess up the uh, wiring. Now before I do any soldering, I should apply some uh, soldering fuse onto the nickel strip. So that allows me to hold the terminal strip onto the new battery. I use a helping hand to temporarily hold it in place and then I heat up the nickel strip for roughly 5 seconds at 350 degrees Celsius. Then I'll actually use the uh, soldering fuse, let it melt and uh, spread over the 
nickel plate. Now the old nickel plate will have some holes on it, so it actually helped to create a good contact point with the new battery terminal, and hence reducing uh, terminal resistance. Okay, so I just gonna make sure it's a uh, hold into place, and then uh, push this heat sink sleeve again over and apply heat to shield it. Now this lithium battery is actually uh, those standard 18650 model delivering giving 3.7 volt and uh, this kind of repair guide and parts are easily available online that's why major brand like Electrolux is a brand that you can trust right I'm not making advertisement this is actually my personal uh, sharing uh, that's why I'll choose and I would still choose Electrolux even uh, if I need to buy a new one because you can repair it easily you do not need to buy a new vacuum cleaner probably it costs one third of the price but where can you get the parts can you get the parts or not i think this is one of the guidance of how do you choose to buy a vacuum cleaner make sure the parts consumer parts you can buy it online easily and it is, won't cost you a lot of money okay uh the twin pack battery I use a desoldering pump to remove the uh, old solder and uh, so that the, so that easier for the wire to be removed. Um, I disconnect from the positive side, right? And then I work my way all the way to the negative terminal, right? So once I have uh, soldered all the battery in place and uh, I look at my video, how to uh, install this uh, battery back in place and the wiring length is different, right? So it's important to make a video. And then uh, mount it back into place uh, the two screw i use a hand screwdriver hand tighten it not the machine otherwise the plastic housing is going to break and i turn on the uh, i mean yeah once i connect it and I press the button actually uh, the light start to blink means low battery i need to charge it up for overnight uh, make sure the thermocouple okay place it here and then i uh, make sure there's no loose parts okay and then uh to cover it back in place wipe the uh the chamber so that it's clean from dust and I put it back into the charging port right so these are these five mounting screw uh, I use a yellow color tray so that I can make sure all the tiny parts won't end up losing somewhere else and uh, clean up the interior of it and charge it up for overnight right tighten it I do not tighten the screw according to what I like actually I tighten it uh, in the star shape form okay and i put it back into a station see if i get the same breathing light yes it's breathing breathing new again charge it for overnight and the next day there you go i like this sound i can actually have revived my vacuum cleaner it is like new now thank you oh yeah remember to press subscribe and like my video bye bye